Okay, we're packing up and getting ready to go to the track, which means we have drug our uh, track toolbox out of the uh, corner of the garage and about to put it in the trailer. But before we load it up, we figured we'd give you guys a tour. So here it is, our fantastic uh, kind of four door drawer rolling cart that uh, comes to every race we do with either our uh, 350Z time trials car or our Volkswagen Fox endurance racing car. I'll start with the, uh, the top shelf of the box. And the first thing I want to point out is that I don't actually keep any tools up here, aside from the screwdrivers and the slots along the side, um, Phillips over here and flat over there. Um, I kind of try to keep the top of this box clear as uh, more of a workstation. So for travel, I keep a, you know, a box of alignment gear and my notebook in the top. But other than that, it basically is just where I like to set tools or uh, nuts and bolts or hardware while I'm working on something at the track. Um, I also got, um, I try to carry as many of these little uh, trays as possible with me. So that way, uh, you know, if I'm changing brake pads or something, I don't um, lose a bolt on the uh, asphalt or if it's a grass paddock, something like that. And then I also keep as many uh, Sharpies and pins and that kind of thing um, handy as possible so I can grab one if, if I'm in a hurry. Um, I also keep uh, as many zip ties as possible, some spare lug nuts, um, that sort of thing. Uh, you know, so I basically just keep the top of the box um, as clear as possible so uh, I can work on it easily and kind of like bringing a work uh, bench with me. The other thing I keep up at the, uh, the top of the toolbox for real easy access is this, uh, this old pouch from a surplus store, which is just full of band-aids and other first aid gear. Um, it's inevitable when you're working on a car at the track, you're in a hurry, um, you might not have uh, your gloves or anything handy. So I keep as many band-aids uh, as, as possible, uh, some antibiotic ointment and some burn cream, so that way, uh, you know, nicking your finger with a screwdriver doesn't have to uh, turn into blood all over the car or being late to your uh, session on track. So that's the top. Um, oh, and the, uh, one other thing, I always carry the adapters to go from a NASCAR to IMSA or IMSA to NASCAR with uh, the driver's helmet. Just because, um, you know, even if you tell every single driver on your team, make sure you have plug X before we hit the track, you'll always show up um, to the paddock the night before the race and, oh, my, my helmet doesn't fit. So I just carry the adapters at this point and that way we always have them and we can have radio contact with our drivers. Um, radios are also why I have the dead and charged up here when we've got six of us six of us in the pit box and we're changing radios and charging and changing every session. Um, radios that are ready to go into the car go into the charge pile and radios that are waiting to be charged go into the dead pile. It's the easiest way I found to keep track of kind of where a radio is at and uh, what needs to happen to it next. So let's open up the box and see what I actually carry for tools here. The most important thing when you're putting together a trackside toolbox is to tailor it to the car you'll be racing. So for example here, I don't carry any American tools at all because the 350Z and the Volkswagen Fox are all metric. Um, and that also means that as we're working on the cars, I will never buy a metric nut or, or a, sorry, an American nut or bolt um, and put it on the car because then I'd have to reconfigure the toolbox. Um, by not carrying kind of, you know, half that tool set, not only does it mean less weight and space to carry around, it also means it's faster to find something because I'm not digging through 7 16 inch wrenches trying to find a 10 millimeter, something like that. So I've got wrenches over here basically every size from seven to 19 millimeters, and then uh, an assortment of the common bigger sizes like 27 and 24 and 22 um, that the cars need. Um, how do you figure out exactly which sizes you can skip and which um, sizes you'll need to bring? Uh, unfortunately, it's practice. So you can practice at home by putting masking tape over your big toolbox uh, back in the garage and then just working out of this one until you figure out what sizes you need. Or you can go to a few races and figure out um, you know, if, you need, if you need to add anything that way too. Um, I also carry ratchet wrenches in a few different sizes that are just real common things um, that we use on the car. I try not to carry you know, a full 22 piece set of ratchet wrenches just because they're heavy and they take up space and I don't wanna get them stolen. But uh, the common sizes where uh, they really help the job go faster, as soon as I find myself grabbing one more than once, I'll put it in the box uh, to bring to the track. Um, I also bring um, adjustable wrenches. These are you know, kind of the worst thing ever and they're pretty horrible to actually do any work on the car with. But if you're trying to save space and you're skipping sizes with wrenches, um, you know, it's important to have an adjustable wrench uh, just in case um, you miss something. In addition to the adjustable wrenches, um, I do kind of break my, uh, you know, don't duplicate sizes and, and keep things simple rule on a couple of other areas. Um, I love stubby wrenches, um, but only when you actually need them. They're pretty useless except for just a couple jobs. So uh, in this box, I only have a stubby 18 and a 15, just because there's two jobs on the 350Z that you can't really do easily with a full size wrench. Uh, so I bring those sizes. Um, I also bring um, as many 13 millimeter wrenches and 10 millimeter wrenches as I can fit in the drawer, um, especially when we're doing an endurance race. Those are real common sizes on the Fox and, uh, and 12 millimeter too. And 
by having multiples, it means that if one team member grabs a 12 millimeter to go do, uh, do the brakes or something, um, somebody else can grab a duplicate to go and work on the car. And that also means that uh, when inevitably a, tem a team member loses one, um, there are extras in the box. Uh, it's not a bit as big of a concern with bigger wrenches or uh, with less common sizes, but um, especially 10 millimeter, you've got to have as many as possible. We'll go over to the, uh, I guess I'll call it the squeeze drawer now, kind of the odds and ends drawer. Um, this is where, you know, I kind of focus on uh, things like side cup pliers that you squeeze. Um, you know, kind of just try to bring one of everything here because, um, you know, for pliers, it, it kind of seems like it's luck of the draw, whether or not you'll have what you're looking for. Um, I do bring as many of these tiny needle nose pliers as I can fit in the drawer. A um, bunch of different kind of sizes of these. Um, and the reason I bring all these weird little pliers is because um, they're great for if uh, you're in a hurry, you drop a bolt down a crevice or something like that, and you need to get it out. Or uh, you know, if you're trying to pull a cotter pin out of something and you're supposed to pull the axle out or uh, pull the whole assembly out to get to it, you can kind of use these to skip steps and hopefully save time when you're working on things. Um, I also bring uh, vice grips with me, safety uh, wire pliers uh, for safety wire. Um, I <laughs> always bring a putty knife. Uh, I've found they come in handy and also uh, some basic wiring equipment. Um, one thing I want to talk about is uh, these hose pinch off pliers. These are dirt cheap. You can buy a set online for like $3 or something like that. Um, these are great for if uh, you need to maybe change a fuel pump or fuel filter or something like that and you don't want to let the fluid drip all over the ground. Um, you can just pinch off the, uh, the hose with these, lock them, and then you won't have to worry about draining the tank or the radiator or anything like that. Yeah, so they a great time saver at the track. Um, I also always bring tin snips with me when I go to the track. These are great for, uh, you know, um, splash shields, heat shields, um, ducting, that kind of thing. Um, you know, basically, if it rubs on a car and it's uh, keeping off the track, chop, chop, time to go. Um, not the best way to do that, but they don't take up much space and, uh, you know, you don't have to charge the battery. So this middle drawer is kind of where I keep the meat of the actual tools. Um, there's kind of two things here that I want to talk about. First is uh, these triple square bits. These are a Volkswagen specific tool. I mean, I think they appear in a couple other cars, but really these are for Volkswagens. Um, and this is a good example of tailoring the box of the car you're going to be working on. If I was racing a BMW, I would never even think about putting these in here. But because we race a Fox, we have to make sure we carry them for the suspension. Um, I also carry eight points, or sorry, 12 point sockets. Um, a lot of the ARP hardware on the drivetrain of the 350Z on its LS is a, a 12 point head, so I make sure I carry the sockets for it. Other than that, it's fairly basic in here. Um, a set of metric Allens in a, every size we need for both cars. Um, got half inch, 3 8 inch, and quarter inch drive um, sockets. Um, carry a half inch torque wrench. I don't bother with the smaller sizes just because, you know, it's not like you're building an engine in the paddock usually. Um, the other thing I carry is uh, a selection of uh, bits and a screwdriver handle. These are great for, you know, if you have like a little Torx bit or, um, you know, a little Allen, something like that, something you don't um, have in a normal full length screwdriver like you would back at the garage. They're great to uh, save space there. Um, I also always carry a dental pick. These are great for O-rings or uh, drop nuts and bolts, that kind of thing. Um, any dentist will give these to you once they wear out or something. I don't know if they are always giving them away. And then, um, some adapters and uh, unit bits for the drill. The other thing I carry here is a, uh, an LS oil pressure sending unit socket. These are kind of a funny socket, a real thin wall with rounded edges designed for the oil pressure sending unit on an LS motor. Um, they're not necessary really, except they let you pull the uh, sending unit out without having to pull the intake manifold. So it doesn't take up much space. They're dirt cheap, about 10 bucks. But by bringing it with me, I know that if I ever have a leak or a bad sending unit, I'll be able to change it at the track without having to pull the whole intake manifold. And that'll save me a ton of time and get, get me back to track uh, sooner. Um, I also carry um, travel-sized sealants. It's not just for toothpaste. You can buy Loctite and anti-seize and um, thread sealant in these tiny bottles. Um, it's not that I couldn't fit full-size Loctite bottles. But by getting the travel size here, it means that I'm not tempted to walk over to this box and grab them for general work when I can't find my big bottle in the shop. So always try and, you know, there's no reason to not put blue Loctite on, uh, on brakes or something just because you're at the track. You, you should buy the bottle and bring it with you. In order to save space and, uh, and money and weight, 
I don't actually carry a real set of drill bits in this box. I only carry a selection of unibits like this that have a, a quarter inch hex shank. And the reason for that is in this next drawer here, I don't carry a drill. Um, I do keep one in the truck and the normal, uh, you know, the truck's normal toolbox that rides around in it. But by not having a drill in this box, it saves space, it saves a battery, it saves something to charge. And it means that I can just use uh, my hex drive impact driver to drill holes if I need to. Um, so in this drawer, basically uh, power tools. So always carry a half inch drive impact. Um, great for breaking stubborn bolts loose and also for uh, changing wheels. Then I carry a, uh, a little impact here. And then I carry uh, my trusty Milwaukee 3 8 inch stubby impact. Um, do you need three impact guns to go racing? Absolutely not. But they are great time savers, especially when you have a team working on a car or trying to do a fast pit stop. So I always try and, uh, and make sure that every team member has a power tool instead of a, a hand tool if they're working on the car under the clock. Um, I also carry a, uh, some safety gear, um, earplugs, and safety glasses. This way I make sure that nobody working on the car is, is working without safety gear. Um, here I uh, carry just a basic digital multimeter for, uh, for wiring, as well as a test light. Not, um, not because you can't use a multimeter as a test light, but this is faster when you're uh, under the clock to try and fix wiring. And uh, this is just a basic selection of um, wiring terminals, some wire, fuse blocks, uh, switches, that kind of thing, um, just to hopefully be able to limp something through if uh, you have an issue. I also carry a portable timing light here to set timing on the uh, Volkswagen when we race it. And uh, uh, timing lights are also a great diagnostic tool to check for spark, even on a car you're not trying to set the timing the old-fashioned way on. Um, I carry a Dremel tool instead of a grinder, um, not because I don't like having, having an angle grinder, but because it takes up space and weight. And if you're patient, you know, anything you need to do with an angle grinder, you can generally do with a Dremel. Um, have some Dremel bits here, and then uh, the rest of this drawer is a, uh, a work light and a couple different hammers, a hacksaw, and some uh, punches and chisels. Um, so that brings us to the bottom of the box, which isn't drawers. I like, to, I like this tool cart style box for the track because you have about half tool, half the room is for tools and half the room is for fluids and uh, other odds and ends like that. So we're down to the bottom level of the, level of the toolbox here. And uh, I guess the first thing I'll mention is what I have zip tied to the side of the box which is a, uh, a lamp kit designed for arts and crafts, basically uh, a 10-foot cord with a light socket and an LED uh, lamp bulb. There are a million ways to put light at your pit stall at the track, but I found that this arrangement is the absolute brightest, cheapest, most reliable way to light up an easy up tent, so I always bring this with me, uh, as well as an extension cord just in case we have to put the generator a little further away. So next we've got uh, generic dirt cheap oil drain pan. Um, I actually carry like two or three of these whenever we go to the track, one in the trailer, uh, one in the truck, and then one here. Just because um, I found that when you need one of these at the track, it's not because you're doing your scheduled oil change or your maintenance. It's because something's blown up and you need to get uh, it contained as quickly as possible. So by always keeping one of these right with a toolbox, it uh, lets me avoid getting screamed at by paddock marshals any more than I have to be. Um, other than that, um, I carry uh, spare fluids. Um, Basically, if it's a fluid in the car, I try and bring at least a spare quart of it. Um, I try to bring more engine oil for the Volkswagen because it burns so much over a 24-hour race. Um, and this is just uh, um, a gallon of water, um, not antifreeze. Just uh, a lot of people don't think about bringing water to the track because you know water's free. It's uh, at every spigot, but um, you only have to have an overheating car in your pit box once to realize that it's actually a pretty far walk to the bathroom faucet. Um, then back to pit road. So I always carry a gallon of water here. Um, I have uh, chargers for the cordless tool batteries here. And then um, this is a bin of basically uh, one of everything from CRC's catalog, or at least one of everything we uh, should have handy at the track. So a couple cans of brake clean um, in case we need to work on anything real greasy and clean it up. Um, some dielectric grease here um, for wiring, um, carbon choke cleaner, and then uh, some freeze off for anything stuck. Um, I also carry wheel bearing grease. Um, don't usually end up using that, but with the, uh, the Volkswagen, it's had some issues. So uh, I basically come prepared to repack a bearing if I need to at the track. Um, I absolutely love these CRC hand cleaner towels. Uh, they're a great way to, uh, to clean hands. And um, you know, a lot of people walk around a track all day with dirty hands for no reason when these are cheap and easy to carry with you. Um, back here, I have uh, some, uh, some tape. So 
um, duct tape, and I always buy this online so that way I can make sure I get uh, colors that match the cars I'm running. So that way if a bumper starts to fall off or something like that, you can patch it up and it doesn't look too bad. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, like aluminum duct tape, like HVAC tape, um, which is great for um, radiator ducting, uh, that kind of thing. It's, it's real heat resistant. Um, and I also carry electrical tape, uh, just if any uh, insulation wears through or anything like that. And then uh, this is a bag of rubber gloves back here, just in case I don't want to have to break out the hand cleaner towels. And on this side of the box, um, paper towels and Windex, which uh, one of the easiest ways to make your car go faster is for the driver to be able to see what he's doing. Um, and then this is a safety wire, just in case we need to replace any of the safety wired parts in the car. Um, and then back here, this is uh, basically, um, how do I explain this? These are, I'll call them fasteners that wouldn't normally exist in the paddock. So. For example, this is kind of the, the uh, a weird American threaded uh, bolt that I um, have to carry for the shift mechanism on the 350Z. Um, you know, tough to find in a paddock and I carry a spare just in case I, I break one. And then I also have some of the uh, oddly sized um, C-clips for the uh, Volkswagen Fox suspension, which again, not likely to find them from your paddock neighbor, but could put you out of the uh, race if you don't have one. Um, and then next back here, I have just a generic box of metric hardware. Um, I buy, um, this is actually like a, a tackle box drawer. Um, any sporting goods store sells these. And basically as you're taking apart your car, um, I would put all the extra hardware in uh, one of these containers. So that way if you need an extra five millimeter bolt when you're at the track, it's easy to find um, and you have spares with you. And then the next thing I have here is a uh, race sense tire gauge, also a pyrometer. So this is for taking uh, tire uh, temps and pressures whenever we're at the track. Um, I actually carry two tire gauges, and this, this is my nice one. I loan that one out when somebody inevitably forgets one at the track. And uh, I have some earmuffs back here in case anything gets uh, real, real loud. And a couple pry bars also on this lower level of the screwdriver shelf. And then the, uh, the last, and hopefully the tool I'll never use here, is a big fire extinguisher. Um, I've lit cars on fire. It's uh, kind of terrifying, so I always make sure I have one of these close by whenever we're at the track. Okay, uh, well, that was a tour of my trackside toolbox. Um, time to uh, make it a reality and take it to the track. So I'm gonna go ahead and load it up. Until next time. If you like this video and you wanna see more, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And if you have a tool that we forgot to mention, post it in the comments below and we'll think about adding it to the next box.